Hi, I'm Mike from Solid Signal, and I've got DirecTV's Single Wire Multi Switch. This switch has got a lot of cool features, and I'm going to tell you all about it. In a standard DirecTV installation, you have to run four lines into the building from the dish. But with this single wire multi-switch, you run those four cables into these four ports here. Next, you just run a single cable out of the swim output into the building. You can then take that single cable and split it up to eight times using special DirecTV approved satellite splitters. One of the other unique features of the single wire multi-switch is that you can integrate a rooftop antenna into it. There's a port labeled off air. This is where you're gonna run your antenna into. It then distributes that off air signal through each of the eight outputs, but diplexers will be required at the receiver end. The single wire multi-switch requires a 29 volt power supply. You can either hook this up straight to the switch where it's labeled swim one slash power, or you can insert it down the line even after you split the signal. That's why there's a red port on each of these splitters, so you know which one you run to the power supply and then to your receiver. For those of you who are using DVRs, you normally have to run two wires to that receiver. The single wire multi-switch eliminates that. You only have to run one line to the DVR and then split the line right before the receiver. This multi-switch is only compatible with DirecTV's AU9 SL3 and SL5 satellite dishes. To use the single wire functionality of this switch, you must have a compatible DirecTV receiver listed here. If your receiver is not on that list, you can use the three ports here labeled Legacy. You have to run these lines directly to each receiver and they can't be split like the swim port. If you have any other questions, you can email info at solidsignal.com or check out our website for wiring diagrams and other helpful information.